Rudy Giuliani faced criticism from a federal judge after interrupting a court hearing. He pleaded that he could not pay his bills because his assets were tied up due to a $148 in million verdict owed to two Georgia election workers, Ruby Freeman and her daughter Wondria Moss. These workers accused Giuliani of damaging their reputations by falsely claiming they attempted to help steal the 2020 U.S. presidential election from Donald Trump. U.S. District Judge Louis Lemon in Manhattan had previously threatened Giuliani with civil contempt for not surrendering assets, including a luxury Manhattan apartment, to partially cover what he owes. Giuliani's lawyer, Joseph Camarata, stated that his client had turned over 90% of the assets. However, the judge questioned Giuliani's difficulty in securing paperwork for his 1980 Mercedes vehicle pointing out that Giuliani's past role as the top federal prosecutor in Manhattan indicated his competence. Giuliani, 80, expressed frustration, stating that his daily life was severely impacted by the situation. He emphasized his lack of a car, credit card, and cash, making it impossible for him to pay his bills. Judge Lemon instructed Giuliani to refrain from speaking in court unless testifying under oath, Emphasizing that compliance with the court's orders should be his top priority. The trial scheduled for January 16 will address whether Giuliani must surrender property in Florida and sports memorabilia. Judge Lemon also denied Giuliani's request to delay the trial for events related to Trump's January 20 inauguration, stating that social events do not constitute due cause. Giuliani has been disbarred in New York and has pleaded not guilty to criminal charges in Georgia and Arizona related to Trump's unsuccessful attempt to overturn the 2020 election. Trump won a second term as president on November 5, defeating Democratic Vice President Kamala Harris.